Welcome to the part 1 of this character modeling series. I am Sion and in this series I will be showing my character modeling process. Now let's get into the video. First let's add a cube by pressing shift A. Now we can move it up. Add subdivision modifier by control 1. Scale it down to match your reference. Now you can apply the subdivision modifier by right click convert to mass. Let's scale it up a bit. Go into side view and adjust the vertices. You can select the vertices and scale it in the axis to flatten the selected vertices. Select these vertices and move it forward to match your reference. You can switch between front and side view. Now you can duplicate it for the lower part. Again, adjust the vertices as per your press image. Keep your polygon as low as possible. So it's easier to handle all these vertices and adjust while you adjusting the mass. Here I added another cube and added subdivision modifier with level up 2. You can use Ctrl plus 2 for shortcut. Now you can apply the subdivision modifier by right click convert to mass. Here I switch to sculpt mode but if you are not comfortable with sculpting mode, you can use a proportional editing tool. If you are following me, then use a grab brush, then adjust the mass. If we go to the side view now, it does not match to our reference image, so let's just move it forward. Use a grab brush to pull out the geometry. Just try to follow the reference. You can switch to wireframe mode if you want. Now it's the same process, so I will speed up a bit. Here's the basic shape of the head, so we can move on to the other parts now. Let's shift A, then add cylinder. Then on the bottom menu, change the vertex to 8. You can now scale it down. Use S plus Shift plus Z to scale it in Z axis only. Now duplicate the cylinder for the arm. Move it off and place it as for your reference. I have the pose reference here, which I'm going to change this later. You can now duplicate this for the four arms. Extrude these vertices to give a little shape. Select this rest area and scale it down a bit. Now select the cylinder then move it on side. This will be used for the legs. Now adjust the vertices, you can also extrude the vertices if needed. Also don't forget to check from the side view. Adjust the vertices to match your reference. You can duplicate the cylinder or add a new cylinder for the scene. Now it's the same process, scale it down, adjust the vertices as per your reference. Now that we have plugged out on the left side, we can use the mirror modifier for the right side. Now apply all transform for both arms and legs. You can also move the pivot point of the objects. Now go to modifier tab, then add a mirror modifier for both arm and legs. Add a cube, this will be used for the hand. Place it according to your reference image. 
I already have a video on modeling hand but I provided the model as well. To save my time, I am going to use my previous hand and foot models. It's a simple process but it takes time to model. You can check out that video if you want to. I will provide both the hand and foot model link in the description. Here I am adding new cylinder for the necks. This is just for our visual reference. Later I will be extruding from the head or maybe from the base. Try not to get confused with timeless video as I am not doing any major thing here but you can slow it down if you want. For the foots, we are going to use Q again and the side will scale it up to match your reference. Add it to as loop with Ctrl R plus 2. Select this front vertices then move it down. Adjust the vertices as needed. Go into front view and place it according to your reference. If you don't have a symmetrical reference, just try following from the side, whichever is useful for you. I just added an edge loop here. Now you can paper it with Ctrl V or you could have just added two edges. Add a new edge loop here. Now you can adjust these edges wherever needed. For the ear, add new cues, add subdivision modifier with Ctrl 1, apply modifier by converting it to mass, now adjust the proportion and place it according to your reference. You can always make a little changes on other mass. Switch to sculpt mode then with grab press adjust the mass. We are not adding any extra poly here. We are just using it to give a quick shape. Let's bevel this edge look. Just use shortcut control V. Add mirror modifier, then set the mirror object to head. With this, our block out is over. In the next video, we will start combining the mask. Thanks for watching me. I will see you in the next one. Matane!